the submarine sandwich, as you can see from the shape there. But hero, hoagie, there's many different things those things are called. But there we go. It's the submarine bathroom, loaf of bread, bathroom. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Planet Coaster here in Dave's moderately mediocre theme park that everyone thinks is way, way too expensive. So we finally seem to have tapped out on the Witch's Haunt. They finally said no to the Witch's Haunt. Okay, let's um, let's let's go see what's going on over there. Uh, Witch's Haunt, where are you there? Yeah, thirty-five. Okay, let's let's drop that down a little bit. How about we try and get maybe thirty bucks for that, and then I want to, I think, boom boat they were also saying was very, very expensive. So let's just shave this down a little bit, trying to get any money we can. I'd rather they were giving me slightly less money than no money at all. So Witch's Hunt and Smooth Move, excuse me. Smooth Move, way too expensive. Okay. I mean, it's only 20 bucks. It's not even that bad. How about you were, say, uh, 16, okay? 16 bucks for the Smooth Move, which is a... Well, it's not a very good roller coaster. We're all pretty honest about that. What have I got for money right now? That's always the question, isn't it? 300, 200. Okay, I technically have some money. The plan continues, and the plan is very simple. Fill out this area, because there's nothing for people to do over here. I don't even have benches and bins over here. There's litter everywhere. So bin, bin, bin over here. And benches, how about bench? bench and what come here come here when i'm trying to put a bench down there there we go a thief has been caught oh good because i've got like three security people i i can't imagine we're very good at that sort of thing okay um hang on hang on i've got like 1400 bucks slow that down slow that down because i'm going to blow that money momentarily so continuing the plan it's a good plan um nobody works here Nobody works here. Okay, I've got, I've got to get some more vendors. It's not going to... The plan is not going to work if nobody is, in fact, working. Okay, you guys, uh, go there and then actually do something. Thank you. So what did I actually put in here? Just a memento, uh, some sort of candy or something, and then some sort of drink thing. Okay, what if we did something else over here? Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow that down. I should have done it when it was 1400 I might, I might be able to get a ride over here with that kind of money. Is there anything at all that would be, actually show me filters. No, not those. I wanted filter by price. I need something cheap game. Whirly rig is cheap, but we've already got that. That's not going to bring the people in teacups. We've already got that. We actually, unfortunately, have most of the cheap rides 1500 would get me centrum we've already seen that and it's not a ride it's a vitamin what if i took a 1200 dollar gamble on a restaurant in the middle of nowhere oh, i sound like a banker's dream oh 1200 bucks for a restaurant we don't have a restaurant here and there's nothing over here there's no reason for anyone to come over to a restaurant in the middle of nowhere so, of course, that means I'm basically going to put it down and hope for the best. I just, I'm feeling something new. Maybe if we had something new over here for people to do. You, you right there. I just spent $1,200 on a restaurant. Please go to it immediately. No, like, seriously, like, swing right in there. Just swing right in there. We're not, we're not going to go to the restaurant, are we? Okay, what are we actually doing here? Uh, not expansions. I want to see, well, first of all, what are we charging? A thousand bucks to run that every month. A thousand bar I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this so hard. Uh, multiple staff members have quit. That's that's pretty typical around here. You don't even you know what game game game. You you don't even need to give me a notification on that one. Okay, I'm just assuming at all times that my staff are fleeing the park in hideously large numbers here. Are you guys still working over here? Oh, good. Thank you so much. Do I have a staff room over here? Uh, that would be something I could put down. That way people could rest up nice and quick. I don't think. I have a staff room in the vicinity. If I could scrape together the money for that, which I might vaguely be able to do. So staff management, no, give me the cheap ones, please. No, 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 not those ones, the cheap ones. Okay, staff building at 200 bucks. I could probably come up with that in the reasonably near future. Yes, I am in full-on panic mode in Planet Coaster, okay? I, I just, 
it's just not coming together with the money situation there. Look, look, I've almost got 200 bucks. I've almost got 200 bucks. Oh, we're playing the money mini game. Yes, I'm leaving this space there to decorate it. Boom, done. Fantastic, good. That is gonna have to do for the staff room because, um, don't got the money to do anything prettier. So you guys get a wooden box. You're using it, though. You're using it. You went in the staff room. Hopefully you will, um, get back to work reasonably soon. Okay, is anyone taking advantage of my $1,200 mistake over here? Oh, you did? Did you like my restaurant? You don't feel like spending money at just a memento. I don't need you to spend money there. You spent money in the restaurant. Okay, let's see what the little money that I have that I can fill in at least this bit over to the restaurant. Make it somewhat more attractive. I'm sure I can do something cheap with trees over here. I often do. Trees are good like that. So some nature. How about we start with a rock? Everybody loves a good rock around here. So, right, no, no, I don't have the money for a rock. I can't even afford a rock. Did I stress the panic mode thing? I think I need to re-stress the panic mode thing. It's, um, it's a little, it's a little frantic here in Planet Zoo, just trying to put anything at all together so people will spend their money and like it. I'd like it if they liked it, too. Okay, I need pandas. That's what I need. I need to bring Planet Zoo over here where I have, like, $1.4 million and bring it to Planet Coaster where I have... 300 bucks. So you guys here, did you need anything? You could have used a toilet. That would have been good. And you were a little hungry and thirsty. Uh, bathroom might be a good idea right around here. I don't think we have one right next door or anything. Okay, we can we can work with that concept uh, eventually. Actually, I've got, I've got some money. I have a little tiny bit of money here. So bathrooms, let's put you, say, right here. Uh, there you go. And you can, well, satisfy a very particular need or two of my guests. So throw that guy in there. And then let's just get this down like that. Let's build around that, try and make it look halfway decent, or at least as halfway decent as it can look with no money. So I think we're going Adobe here. We've done, Ado well, we've done all of them before at this point. It's nothing new that we're doing here. I just need to do it cheaply. About a couple of little wings here, if I can put together the money to do it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got one in there. Don't know what they are. Don't know what they mean. But, um, you know, they're kind of working for me. And how about you could go right here. Perfect. Okay. What are we seeing for some kind of roof there? Crypt roof flat? Oh, God, no, that's terrible. Why did you think that was going to be okay? Uh, that looks like a, well, it looks like a loaf of bread. It kind of looks like a loaf of bread. You know what? We're doing loaf of bread bathroom. What, what would go with loaf of bread? Found it. Yep. Giant sub right on top of the loaf of bread bathroom. Oh, this makes perfect sense. This is, this is absolutely wonderful. This is one of the best things I've ever done. Yep. Giant sub right up top or hero or hoagie, depending on your part of the country. Uh, it's a sub in my neck of the world, a submarine sandwich, as you can see from the shape there. But hero, hoagie, there's many different things those things are called. But there we go. It's the submarine bathroom, loaf of bread bathroom. And at a dollar a pop, I like the way this is already going down. Yeah, all you people need to use the bathroom. I know it's a little scary. It looks like a sandwich on top of a loaf of bread, which is kind of meta. Yep, there we go. I think that was four bucks right there for that little party. Um, how's the... Well, okay, people are coming out of the restaurant. Two people, admittedly, but they are coming out of the restaurant. Okay, let's keep the plan going here. Light decoration in here, and then just keep moving along the path. And maybe a bench could live there if I can afford it and another come on come on give it to me give it to me give it to me no yes yes okay there we go and probably another bin too seeing as that one's completely full that's not going to um it's not going to make me hire anyone but it is completely full I should hire another handyman how do do, do we have any vague thoughts about how people feel about the litter great scenery spacious great Q bad which is haunt bad Okay, th that I can do something about. Uh, which is haunt, which is haunt. There we go. Okay, so how about we take it down to... It, it is getting pretty old. So how about we take it down to 25 bucks? Uh, show me... Show me who's using what rides. Okay, teacups is getting the most action. And I think we're going to bump that up a little bit. How about we try and get $11 out of that? Because it's a classic now. It's a classic. Yeah, which is haunt is aging out. So that's going to die for a while. Smooth move doing fine. Boomboat getting old but still doing fine. And Whirly Rig is now a classic. 
Well, let's see if we can bump that up a little bit. How about we get that up to maybe 10 bucks? Okay, what else? Hyper Jump is reviving. So maybe we could get that up to 12. Swift Drifter is also reviving. How about we just poke this up a little bit? I don't want to go crazy with the, the prices because I want them to just go. Just spend any money there. And you know what I've never, ever done? Because I was advised not to in comments. I've never raised the price of getting into this park. It's never, it's just always been, I think it's five bucks to get in here. I, I It's been so long, I don't even know where to find that information. Uh, the one that says ticket prices, Dave. It's going to be the one that says ticket prices. Okay, so family. Price for child. Okay, so the child price there. Priority pass, I don't really care that much about it. Um, how about... Oh, you had a terrible time because pickpocket stole your money. Yeah, we don't really do much. It's much about security here. Could I get away with? Now, I was warned early in comments. You got to do one of two things. You either got to keep the ticket prices low and the ride prices high or vice versa. Ticket price is high, but ride price prices low. But this has been five bucks forever. It's never been more than that. Could we get six bucks? Could I just get six dollars out of people? I think that's really, really fair. And three bucks for kids. That's dirt cheap. We'll see if anyone whines about that. Uh, I guess think multiple rides are too expensive. Yes, they often do. Okay, who thinks what is what? Teacups is too expensive and Rocktopus is too expensive. I just bump up teacups too. Okay, bring it back down a little. 1050 for that. There we go. And Rocktopus you weren't crazy about either. Where is, where is Rocktopus? Oh my god, it's, it's terrible. You're right. You're right, you shouldn't pay a lot of money for that. You should pay, like, no money for that. That one should be free. Now, all these shops down here seem to be doing pretty well, so I'm going to take a chance on putting up some more shops. So what if we did... Ooh, what are we thinking? Maybe a drink shop around here? That might be an idea. Gulpy Slush, Gulpy Soda, Pip Shot. I've got a lot of Pip Shots, I feel. How about... Yeah, milkshakes. Uh, let me see if I can vaguely ever afford to put this in here. Uh, kind of right, right next to the topiary would be a good idea. I'm going to bring this one back a little bit. Make sure we've got a nice long queue for that. There we go. Okay, we got that in there. We're, we're doing things here. Things are happening. I found this cowboy hat, so I'm putting it over the staff room because it amuses me to do so. It, I mean, it's got sort of a rustic wooden western feel, right? Right? It was really cheap. What can I tell you? Uh, snowman clothing. Okay. That would require doing a snowman. I don't know. It's just I'm not feeling snowman over here. Or any sort of wintry, Christmassy kind of things. A speed limit sign, however, makes complete sense for the bathroom. That makes to no, 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 no. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, no. How about no? I don't want an animatronic. I'm gonna have to pay for that. How about a turret? How about just a giant? T no. None of this is really coming together. Maggots? Do we want maggots? I don't know about maggots. We getting any action over at my Ferris wheel here? Yeah, just people don't know this thing even exists. It's just, there's nobody here. And neither should, oh, the apology is broken down. We're very sorry about that. And neither would there be anyone here. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. What if we did another one of the uh, the advertising signs? I must have one. To, yeah, there's one right there. Uh, no, come here, come here, come, come here. No, come, come here. We're not editing anything anymore. I'm getting one of these. Let's bring this guy sort of over... This looks like a good spot. Yeah, put this guy... Actually, even better, right here. No, no, here. There we... No, here, if I can afford it ever. Money mini game. Money mini game. Come on, give me some money. Give me some money. Give me some money. There. Oh, add it. Good. Got it. Good. Okay. You are going to advertise the Ferris wheel. I know it's not technically the Ferris wheel, but it's Ferris wheely enough. And when in doubt, start throwing vendors at the problem. Vendor and um, a vendor over here and maybe one way over in post-apocalyptic zone, which is another area I've got to kind of tighten up a little bit. There's not a lot going on around there. Um, there's some wages that I can't necessarily afford, but here we are. I've got the whirling helicopter, so everything's okay, and I've got the fire truck that's just buried in the ground there. I love the look of it. I wish I could afford to do anything with it. Little bit of money to just clean up this corner a little bit here. I feel there should be something neat in there. I'm thinking rock, but then I'm going to go back to, well, the animatronics that I can't afford. 
Uh, what are you? You're a dragon statue small. Show me. Um, it's not bad. What is that? It is, in fact, exactly what I thought it was. Okay, let's never speak of that again. How about a little swinging sign over here that could hopefully advertise the food and drink? Dynamite crate? No, I think that's a little much. Oh, elegant archway. Show me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one of them. Give me one of them. Right there. Oh, that looks good. Now there needs to be something in the middle of it, though. There needs to be something in the elegant archway. Otherwise, it's just an elegant archway, and who the heck cares about that? You know what? That's the final perfect spot for this guy. Uh, now, wh now, why are you doing that? Why, why are you... No, stop, stop doing exactly what you're doing. Now, just spin yourself around right there. Finally! That actually makes sense for you now. I'm kind of working back to front now, going back over to the restaurant here, and then I'm going to start to flesh in the middle. I'm seeing if there's any slim chance I can save up enough money without getting a loan to put a ride in here. Because that would really draw people in this direction and then move them over here is the plan. I mean, I've got about 20 bucks, so the chances of that happening in the near future are pretty slim. But, you know, hope springs eternal around here. All right, let me have a closer look at the restaurant here. So we're doing cheesy pasta and sausage and mash. Okay, show me an overview. And how are the people thinking? There's no recent thoughts. I don't really want an expansion, per se. Oh, there's live music. There's perks. There's perks. More appealing to teenagers and increases the prestige of smaller restaurants for live music. How about family venue? More appealing to families. And that's for larger restaurants. Adult venue, obviously. Internet access. Ooh. Hmm. Families and teenagers. Free condiments. Adults and families and increased prestige. That seems like the best one of all. Just free ketchup. Why were we charging for ketchup in the first place? Like every restaurant gives you free condiments. It's kind of their thing. You want ketchup and mustard? Here, here's some ketchup and mustard. I'm going to put another mechanic on duty, too, just to kind of keep up with the breakdowns. There's a lot of them. And I just threw another vendor on there as well. Where am I at for money? Uh, as usual, not a lot. I'm feeling slightly better about my restaurant, especially if I could get a ride over here. That would really bring a lot of people into this restaurant. Oh, there's, oh I was going to say there's a lightning storm. No, 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 no. It's just the witch's haunt. That's fine. Everything is fine. What else could I theoretically be poking at? This area's got to get fleshed out, but that's part of my grand plan to bring all of this over here, and then I can work on that bit there. All right. I think I just keep going with my basic plan of little tiny bits in here until we get over to the restaurant, but... I want to keep this space vaguely open for the potential of a theoretical embryonic ride. Now, what gift shop did I put down here? That is just a memento. Okay, so what if we did a gift shop up here that was not just a memento, either the hats or the balloons? I see you guys have balloons, but no hats. How about the people down here? These people seem to have hats, but no balloons. Ah, we're in a gift shop desert. Okay, well, let's put down... Well, what have we got? Balloons, memento, hats. I'm going to go balloon. I think balloon is the way to go up here. Of course, this is vendors that I don't have, can't afford, and will quit on me anyway. But hey, here we are. And how about a few street lights around here? Do I, do I pay for these things monthly? I probably do. I can only imagine that I do. I mean, lights cost money. Um, and then let's put up another one of the advertising signs. So maybe along here? I mean, Lord knows you're going to want to have some kind of clear direction in this path. So spin yourself around like that. And then big surprise, you're going to advertise the Ferris wheel. I just need people to know that it exists at all. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. Uh, yes, advertise that. Thank you very much. Is there anybody over here? Okay, you guys are kind of coming in. There's people on it. I mean, that's got to be good for something, right? Um, a vendor has quit. Good, I, I just threw on like two more. It's fine. Well, the free condiments um, are not really paying the bills. It may shock no one at all. We're, we're down $8,000 in the restaurant. This is, um, well, like any restaurant, it's just bleeding money. That's how restaurants work. It's very hard to run an actual successful, profitable restaurant. Usually, you're just trying to break even and pay the bills. And uh, this is not even doing that. 
I guess all the free ketchup is coming back to uh, haunt me a little bit. Where am I at? I have, as usual, no money. Okay, how is my plan going, though? The plan is coming together. All right, so we're fleshing out this area. There's things for people to do, and more importantly, things for people to buy. Shop, uh, just a memento has been empty again. Okay, throw vendors at the problem. I'm bumping up the Venetian carousel a little bit, bumping up Centrum a little bit. Now that's a classic. A uh, loop to loop. I think that's fine. Star Wheel is tanking. No surprise there. Roctopus, I might actually just demolish that at this point. Maybe that's a thought. Maybe I just demolish everything that's hemorrhaging money. That could be a way I go about this. Maybe I. Maybe I just demo the entire. I, I still think the idea of just one ride, the Witch's Haunt, right at the front door, a bunch of shops, call it a day. I did get a pop up. Um, Elia, what is your problem? What? Look at your workload. It is low. Are you bored? Too bad. You're getting paid for it. You need more work to do. Ella? Ella? There are so many empty shops around here. Find something to do. Look, Hot Dog Squad 26, missing a vendor. Ella, hustle on over. You are sad about not working hard enough? Hot dogs, Ella. Get on the hot dog game. All right, go sell some hot dogs to these punters. I think I'm going to leave this as is for right now and start to head over here and work in this area because I really, I don't think I'll ever have the money to do it, but I'd really like to see another ride there. I think that's a great spot for a ride. Uh, and then here, start to do some work and then again, work back to front. So we filled in this bit a little bit. Now we're going to fill in this bit a little bit. Another bathroom would not be a bad idea. It's a dollar to use the bathroom. It's just basically like free money for something that people are literally going to have to do, whether they want to or not. And a lot of people coming along here complaining about energy and that they don't have any. So let's make sure we get some benches down along there when I can. I know insufficient funds. I know. Thank you. I'm familiar with that phrase around here, Planet Coaster. You don't worry about that. I got that one covered. I don't have it covered. That's a complete... An utter fallacy. I don't have... Where does Village Heart been? Yeah, I haven't done these. Put some of these up there. Okay, so finally, after many, many minutes of playing the Money Minigame, we have uh, one bathroom. Let's see. I've got a little bit of money. I could put up some kind of shop here. How about a food shop? Should I just go vending machine? Again, it's, it's no vendor. It's just a mechanic to occasionally fix it, and not even that often, to be honest. How about... Just, you know what, what if we just kept it simple? And there's just a chief beef over here, and then maybe something right next to it, some sort of drink-oriented thing. And give me my graffiti back, too, because I feel, I feel this area, this little vending machine area, should be dilapidated and possibly filled with criminals. So uh, put, put more graffiti up over there, that's excellent. What is this? A decal vent. Yeah, no, not so much, really. Uh, how about... Well, go back to the building stuff. Let me go back to... Actually, arches. That's exactly what I want. Thank you for asking, game. Uh, not gingerbread, though. No, that's a terrible idea. Can you show me something in a basic stone? No, that's wood. No, that's pretty much the opposite of stone, isn't it? There we go. Sandstone. That's the one I want. Okay, so put this guy here and here. And then some kind of roof to top this all off. Just give me something nice and flat that I can throw up on the cheap. There we go. One sandstone roof. It looks, it looks like a vending machine in a bunker. Oh, I would not. I'm going to get mugged if I go in there. That's the impression I've just given all of my guests. You'd like to get a pip shot? You are going to get mugged. And how do we finish everything off? With deliciously inexpensive trees. So birch here, and then, oh, that's a good spot for one right there. Okay, and then maybe uh, some bushes or something to live in here. Um... No, not quite right. Show me these ones. Better. Better. Yeah, let's put a few of these up like this, kind of surrounding the trees a little bit. Show me this one. Huh. Yeah, do that. Do that on either side of the bathroom. I don't I can't afford that. Do that on either side of the bathroom. They're only a buck fifty. You oh there there we go. Two bucks. Right there. Two bucks for you to use that bathroom, and then you're going to go get a drink. You'll probably have to go right back to the bathroom. And give me another one of these to go live here. Okay, I like the way this area is kind of coming together. I don't know if I could even fit anything in there. But if I could, 
where would be my nearest staff room? Now, that's an info kiosk. There's no staff room in there. I know that. So, staff room, staff room. Yeah, I don't think we've got... There's one over here. Because I know I put it right next to the bathroom. Which is where they belong. But there's nothing sort of over here. That's a pretty long walk, apparently, if you're a vendor. Just way too long to walk over there. Okay, even though they don't do anything at, anyway. They're all fussed about not having a staff room, but then they're fussed that there's nothing for them to do. Well, then just don't do anything. Sit there, get paid, don't bother walking over to the staff room. Do I sound a little bitter about the vendors? I am. You know what I haven't put up in ages? These little claw machines. Let's put some of those up here. I mean, they don't generate a lot of money, but I like them. Uh, put that up there, and put that there. I don't really have room for Zoltan, per se. I mean, I kind of do if I shuffle some things around. Um, so let's... Okay. Okay. Start start from scratch here. Bring all of that down. Can I get a building around here of some sort, reasonably on the cheap, as always, and then move some of this other stuff around so it makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, this is all kind of coming together. I'm okay with this. Multiple rides are broken down. Yes, I know. I know. Multiple... Multiple things are broken down, game. Multiple things are broken down. Okay? My vendors are broken down. My rides are broken down. Uh, you know what? I, well, I just happen to have a security guy on there. Uh, my security's broken down. My mechanics are broken down. I'm broken down, game. I'm broken down. Put a janitor on staff. Because um, people like to have things swept up after them. Uh, what was I doing? I was moving these things because they make no sense anymore. Uh, so put a bench, I don't know, way over there. And no, no, oh, I duplicated it, didn't I? Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, undo, undo the thing I just did. And then this one, just move it over there. And then actually that bin could stay right there. That is a totally okay place for that. Yeah, I'm all right with that. It's like 50 cents or something silly like that, but they look really neat and cool. Well, let's see where we're at here. Multiple rides are broken down. Multiple shops do not have a vendor. I just threw three more vendors down in the middle of nowhere to try and alleviate that. The, the vendor issue persists, continues, and is apparently eternal. I've got a restaurant that nobody goes to and is hemorrhaging money because I just blew $1,200 by putting a restaurant in the middle of nowhere. I'd like to keep this space open for a ride, but I'll never ever have the money to do that unless I take out another loan. And my plan to flesh out this little walkway here is not completely terrible. That is proceeding apace, if you will. So we've got this bit fleshed out, which is nice. Once you complete your very, very long walk, it's actually something for you to do there. You're going down to do a little bit of hot Zoltan action. That's cool. And we've got some shops and stuff over here. I've got plenty of staff rooms. I've got bathrooms. I just have no money. I mean, I can just go back to the get a loan, do some stuff, pay it off start all over again. Rinse and repeat, if you will. I mean, it's gotten me this far. It's got me this far, all right? We've done just fine. Well, we haven't. The game is tanking. Uh, we've done we haven't done fine at all. This is, this is a, this is not a sustainable park doing that. But I'm going to say that we've done just fine. We haven't done just fine. This is not sustainable. Uh, doing that practice before. So we'll kind of see how that all plays out. Guys, do please let me know. And, and I do mean please let me know in the comments where, where you think we're at with this. Because this is going to be a super slow roll of just a couple of hundred bucks here and there. I mean, I am making progress. With the little, you know, playing the money minigame, it's not that I can't do things. It's just things happen very, very slowly. So let me know what you're thinking of Planet Zoo in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet, but I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I, I broke Dave. <laughs> broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves, I'll be back. <laughs> uh.
just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness. 